What's up, yo? This past ain't Tyrone coming to you live and direct from the car and from uh, his lab. Past ain't Tyrone for the full four. Beyond Open Door Ministries Internationals, a pastor, single minister, a singles pastor, a Christian. Uh, like any Christian, but I have a court a issue, and I'm issues always, of course, are going to be on single parent mothers and single parent boys. I'm a, I'm a, a product of of single parent mothers, single parent boys. Tragically, I had a single parent mother who had been in my life for a long time, unfortunately, who died at a very, very, very tragic age. And um, a lot of these girl, these ladies, I now have the privilege of talking to because I'm, I'm 49 years old and many of these women are single my age and have young men like this young man right here who is now a veteran of the military. He's now married to a young lady and um, he is, all due respect, served his country and I'm proud of that fact but the issue of him doing everything to be height and weight standard sensitive, do the things, lose the weight, be in shape, his wife is obese, very much obese. And so I have a real big battle with obesity. It's, it's, it's close. I have a real big battle with obesity because the majority of people have a battle with obesity. And... The reality at seven o'clock, I don't know why people think that at that seven o'clock in the morning, McDonald's will be open. I mean, in the black community, no. White community, yeah, but this is the black community. Huh. And I get it. You know, but anyway, I'm sorry, I'm outside of a McDonald's right now. And Barry LeVon, like I said, is a is a vet. He's a, a young man who could be my son. His his mama could be my age. I'm 49. And the tragic part about it is the husband, where's the father? They're gone. Yeah. The father's gone. The father's not, he's not existent. And what I'm here to say as a black man is that, oh, it's easy for women to get our sperm and make children. But it's hard as heck for them to stay with a black man when they're in their 40s at the most important times of their life. When their son that they had sex with to conceive is growing up to be a man and making choices about the woman that he is going to marry. His wife, he puts all the time, his wife is obese and she's young. And you can see that obesity, nice woman, very nice woman. But in the military, we have high weight standards that we gotta maintain. Now, you see he got a little beard there cause he's pulling, he's not, he's doing a shaving profile but if he's a young man that wants to have a great life, he, he don't notice, and I hope he finds this video, but the military is a ticket. But it's, it's, a, it's a ticket to the next 30 years, and the decision that he makes over these next 10 will determine the way he's at when he turns 50. He'll, if he makes the mistakes that we made, a lot of us guys made, going into the military, getting with the first woman that you meet, getting married, having sex, having a child, not really knowing who you are, ending up in a divorce, and then, of course, that child is now your baby. You meet the one you really should be with, but you now got an ex-girlfriend or ex-wife. And all along, the issue all started with your mom and your father and their marriage and what they didn't do and learn. And so as a minister, as a youth pastor, single singles minister, Focused on marriage, marriage, singles, marriage, singles, marriage. I'm sick and tired of the church saying, well, you don't do marriage ministry until you're married. Hell, no. You get marriage ministry while you are single. You get marriage ministry while you are single. You get marriage ministry while you are single. Because in the black community, or community for all my white folks, we are not getting married. We're effing. And babies are being conceived. 
and they come into the churches that I, as a youth minister, got to minister to. And the people don't care because, hey, you got a youth minister out here. He'll be there. So this is my frat. Go mob. You know Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Great man. Look at him. He's physically fit. We have a lot of fat sigmas. This ain't one of them because of the military. Thank God. But his wife. And then mama. As you can see, the specialist, E4 in the military. He already got a master's degree. Business administration. Columbus, Ohio now from Dallas. Set up with a master's to get to sergeant, E5. Commission become a lieutenant, 01. His life is successful. And if the wife learns where she is, because she's with him in BAH on base on housing with all the white girls. Now understand this, all the white army wives. And sees a 15 year, 20 year, 30 year downrange photo. She could be a grandparent with her kids being blessed and be honored and outlive and outdo her parents and her grandparents and her great grandparents. And Deuteronomy 28 curse does not have to win. But if they don't know the Lord, don't know the word, don't know the history of the word, don't know the history of our people, this will be a divorce. Beautiful man, frat. Look how big she is compared to him in the wedding. That's workouts, lack of nutrition, health, science, exercise, 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 output, 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 burn fat. When we were Sigmas, we had to learn something online. It was a line, it was a, a, a word. All my frat and Sigmas, you know. You got to sweat blood, sweat blood. You got to bleed blue, bleed blue. You got to cry white, cry white until you see the light. You got to cry white until you see the light. Sweat blood, bleed blue, cry white. Phi Beta Sigma. We sweating blood. We bleed in blue because that's our colors. And we cry white because that's our other colors until we see the Sigma light. And all fraternities, they got their own codes, they got their own songs, we got ours. But the sweat blood is not just on a line, it's physical fitness, it's being in health. My boy is great, but do you know how many women have come, come after him because she's obese? Do you realize sexually it's nice because they're the newlyweds, but if she's this way in 10 years and he's physically more fit, higher rank, that he's going to have so many opportunities to have other women come at him. She doesn't even think, oh my God, how dare he say that? This is real life, yo. Women got to fight to keep their marriages, much less make them. And what the statistics of 26% of people in our, in our black community getting married in the first place to get that ring, shout out to the late great Kevin Samuels. Many of my pastors that I love and support do not even, so, and I mean this with all due respect, many of my pastors I love and support do not even talk about this in the church yesterday, in the 90s, the 2000s, the 2010s, and the 2020s. Yet, every day people are going to get that or won't have that, and every day they're going through a two-year divorce, three-year divorce process that the divorce corporations called the divorce people of America, the divorce lawyers and the divorce system is already waiting for them to fall. Listen to the movie in a great movie by, it's called Divorce Corp, D-I-V-O-R-C-E-C-O-R-P. Go to YouTube and look it up. It's on YouTube. You can buy it. And it talks about the game and how lawyers, lawyers, rich lawyers, even though we say we blessed and highly favored, we also got a 75% chance of falling into divorce. Great soldier. He uh, works as an area fulfillment manager. He got a mass degree. He's a, what we call a, a reservist. I was that dude. This was me. Problem is, as he's a reservist, As we are 
as he's working at as a fulfillment center, doing the same kind of job I do, we call Amazon Flex, with a master's degree, and of course, educational leadership is great. We all are getting ours. He got to get his doctorate. Shout out to all of us getting our master's in lead educational leadership or divinity or higher education and our doctorate in educational leadership. High, all of us, we all at. That's one thing about us frat or about sigmas. We getting that PhD, hallelujah. But at the same time, I say that though, what is his wife doing? They got married in 2021. He was a cadet in the United States Army. Specialist, graduated from Abilene Christian. He should be a commissioned Army officer right now. Why is he not commissioned? He got a master's degree. You are not gonna be a specialist in the Army with a master's degree, guys. Yo, we're talking education, we're talking military, okay? Why not bring this up, my brothers? I bring this up because what he did was what I did. He was enlisted, went to college, got his degrees, and now wants to commission, he wants to be an officer and go into that world that's not normal for us African-Americans. But as he go into that world, all right, as he go into that world, he got to be prepared that the game is a different game. It's like the different world TV show where it says it's a different world from where you come from. Yes, it is now. Here's our chance to make it. If we focus on our goals, you can dish it, we can take it. Just remember you've been told, my face don't look good, I'm sorry. It's a different world from where you come from. Thank God I don't got the video on, you can't see my face. Ha <laughs> ha, I do videos all the time. So Melanie, my Delta my Sigma Gamma Rho so Roll. Deuce, deuce. 2018, get in that gym, shock the world, lose the weight. You got the degrees, you got the education, y'all came out of Ohio, y'all married, represent. You're great, we're proud of you. But y'all young, you are young, you are young. I'm 50, y'all in your early 20s. To get to us and be better than us, my soul roar. And to outlive and outdo all the people who are never getting married in your line that you with, and majority of, and the majority of us and a majority of all black people aren't getting married. We just wanted you to know physical fitness is key because these same women that you with will compete for your man. They've been doing it for years. Men have been cheating on their wives for generations. And a lot of times with the friend of the woman that that woman knows so i just want you to know that my sis i love you in the love of jesus christ i want y'all to be successful i want my man to make it looks like he's a specialist and to be a specialist from april of last year to now instead of being an 01 going to officer olb officer basic you you remind me of myself and a lot of people you messed up and I don't believe as a man who went to even a, what we call non-PWI or what we call, I would say it, paper university, Abilene Christian uh, or Franklin University, I salute you. But I remember UNT in Dallas, Texas. I went to the University of Oklahoma and Norman. Boomer Sooner. Texas do suck in love, football-wise. Not everywhere, not everything else. I want you to know I care. So as I do this video and I, and, I, and I look at you, boss, and I see you all the time, I just want to say, bless. You got it. Y'all team. It's y'all two against the world, against every black brother, sister, myself included, unless we prove our loyalty by saying, we want you to succeed. We want you to learn from our mistakes. We want you to overcome the obstacles that we didn't. So that when you get to be 50 years old, bros, you are Colonel Levine. And she's Mrs. Colonel Levine. And guess what? You can become that, bruh, if you make the right decisions. 